Murphy, uh, today I'm down in North Cork uh, with, with John Stokes to look at a few crops. Thank, Thank you for having me, John. You're very welcome, Andy. Uh, very and I, I've decided to come here because I've known for the last number of months, well, it's, it happens every year, things are always more forward. They move quicker down in the south of the country than they do elsewhere, and your crops are a good deal more forward than what I see elsewhere going around. So it's nice to be able to come down and see crops A with growth and bulk, and also we're standing in a crop of winter barley here, and it's actually after moving into stem extension, which is something that's not that common yet in most of the rest of the country. Uh, filling up well by the look of it, John, um, nice uniformity in the crop. Uh, when, when was this sown, John, and what variety is it? It's a crop of infinity that was planted on the 2nd of October. Um, planted in conventional manner, plough and uh, one pass and roll soon afterwards. And uh, it's on very good, very dry land here. This is among the best pieces of land that uh, we're involved in. And John, would, would the 1st first, first, 2nd of October, would that be early for this part of the country, for winter barley? No, it wouldn't be that early because uh, while this is very good dry land, uh, we have land to the north and west of here, which is not nearly as dry as this and not nearly as low as this, maybe 200 feet more um, higher up. And uh, that would be problematic if it were left much later than that. And John, what's after happening this crop now so far? Just a, a, a general run on, on husbandry and inputs? Right. Um, well, it, it was planted. We incorporated um, chicken litter uh, just prior to planting and plowed it down. And, and you would do that relatively regularly, John? Yes, uh, with the allowance of soil sampling, which okay. happens fairly often during the budget. The primary driver for doing that, is it because it's all worn ground or because it's a good source of fertility or a combination of both? Well, th this land has been tilling since the time of Old God. Okay. You know, uh, it's been tilling a very so long Old time. Testament stuff. Old Testament, yes. And uh, it's, um, while it's good land, it, it needs feeding. It needs continuous feeding. We're also taking heavy-ish crops of both grain and straw off of it, so it needs replenishment and um, regularly. John, I know that you are doing some uh, minimum cultivation at times yes. and therefore soil structure, soil quality, soil health is very much important to you for the other system in particular. And are you beginning to see benefits because you've been using litter for quite some time now? We've been using litter now for quite a few years. Um, we've seen improved workability in the soil. Yeah. Probably less steel being used in the manufacture of it, and also what we're hoping for has happened: greater porosity. We're not getting water sitting on top of the land nearly as often as we used to do. And you're mixing min till with the plough, depending on what's suitable we for a field. We are yeah. mixing min till with the plough, though the opportunities for min tilling are becoming um, scarcer given our use of poultry manure because and the need to incorporate it. Okay, and that's a safety issue for you and your neighbours? It's a safety issue for yeah. all of us and uh, well, probably to capture nitrogen too. But if, 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 if in a year that you weren't incorporating, probably you could min till in a wider window if your porosity and structure is being improved? Entirely so. Yeah. Could not be a more agreement. Okay. And John, as I look across the field, I can see great uniformity just in the appearance of the crop, which would indicate, uh, you know, uniform fertility, pH, etc. I know you're a stickler on pH. What have you been doing for that, particularly for barley? Oh, uh, for barley, um, we, when we applied the chicken litter, we also applied lime. We put it on with the chicken litter, spread it on top of each load and hope for the best in terms of accuracy. Um, it seems to be working and I suppose if we get it wrong one year we might get it equally wrong the next year so that one mistake Hopefully might Hopefully in a different place. Yeah. However, we're also following up the pH um, here um, last year I think was somewhere around 6.4 or 6. Yeah, 6.4 maybe 6.5 and uh, We've got a ton of ground limestone in with the chicken litter and uh, only two three days ago um, it got a further um, back to the acres the farmer says about 125 kilos 130 kilos of um, granular lime per hectare on top of the ground so there's lime underneath lime overhead 
And you're putting pressure on with lime because you believe that it has made significant differences to you, particularly for Barley in recent years. I think it's been the greatest single driver of yield here. Yeah. Okay. Lime. Because it does lots of things. It's not just a pH issue. It's a it's a soil health issue. It's a, it's good for the bugs. It's good for the whole cycle of things that happen when you're using organic matter in the equation. I've become very very strongly converted to lime. John, going back then to the other things, P and K levels here, generally I'm going to assume with the combination of all the things you've been doing the years, probably your index trees are doing We're index well. three, um, pretty much. So your, your maintenance with the quantity being driven by the total offtake with straw being a big factor. Yes, but we're also adding um, muriate of potash. We're not counting on the, this is the thing, uh, the analysis of chicken manure um, seems to vary quite a bit, so we're not trusting it entirely to supply all the potash needs. So we're all supplementing all our land with muriate and potash in the springtime. And for nitrogen then, John, has this got nitrogen already or when? It's got, it's had it twice. Um, it had uh, about uh, 60 kgs of straight urea. Um, that was on the 16th or so of February. And uh, just this week, uh, earlier in this week, uh, Monday, um, it had uh, more nitrogen, this time in a liquid form because we, you, we dissolve urea and put it out through the sprayer in conjunction with sulphur of ammonia and some trace elements. And why do you do that, John, when the vast majority of, well, more than the vast majority of the country would be using solids? Why do you opt for liquid? <laughs> um, I might ask my, my nephew sometimes asks me that too because he's got to operate the sprayer and it's a great deal slower than the spinner. Um, we've been mixing um, urea with water and la laterally with sulphate of ammonia uh, liquor since 1990. Um, it's 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 very accurate for one thing. Um, we can we've moved to wider tram lines and it's. It's allowed us to do that with accuracy. Um, we can blend in our sulphur um, quite neatly using the sulphur ammonia liquor. We can also add in our trace elements, which we add in the form of sulphates um, through the liquid fertilizer. We use a, um, a saturated solution. It's about an N21 solution on the grain. and. Uh, to that you, you, you can't add any more but if you mix through um, sulfates at the time of application you can make a suspension I suppose one might call it of uh, zinc, manganese, copper, sparing on the copper and uh, magnesium through the growing season. So how much nitrogen is on this crop at this point then John? Uh, about 160 kilos. Okay and a bit more to go on? A little more to go on. Based on very little. Based on performance. And of the we past. may, in fact, in, uh, apply that through conventional nozzles uh, later on. Very okay. small amount. And, and which begs the question: for the for the liquids that you normally apply in bigger quantities, is that through a different type of That's nozzle? That's a raindrop nozzle. It's a okay. very large droplet nozzle, and uh, you don't want to apply pesticides or anything okay. uh, like so that. So you're, you're trying to get it literally to fall to the ground. Rather than stay Correct. on the plant. If Bounce off the leaves, get onto the ground, I guess, uh, I suppose, some that is absorbed through the leaves. Um, but the aim is to get it on the ground. Okay, well, before we dip down to examine the crop, are you generally happy with the crops this year and this crop in particular that we're in? I'm very pleased with them. <laughs> Whether that comes before a fall, but I'm very pleased with them. Um, they look bouncy. Uh, we grow, um, we've moved on to growing more winter barley. Uh, 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 um, a greater percentage of it, uh, driven by a, a number of different reasons. But anyways, I'm, I'm very pleased with the winter barley. Winter wheat doesn't look quite into its own yet. Well, seed rape looks really well. Winter oats looks as winter oats always looks coming out of the winter. I'm very pleased with the crops. It's been a kind winter to rainfall. Could not have been more different to that rainfall we had in the winter of 2015-16 because we had a very dry open autumn, cooler one, that was a good thing in itself, and uh, we've had a relatively dry spring. I think today we've, we're on about 240 mils since the start of the year, but 240 mils of rain 
onto that which was already dry ground at the start of the year. We can handle that here. Okay, I, I couldn't but notice when I was coming down the road along this morning that a lot of the winter barley fields I was seeing, they probably weren't quite as forward as this one, but uh, a lot of them had still yellow patches in them with obvious signs of tractor sinking, trying to get nitrogen out. And, yeah. you know, it still has been an awkward month, in fairness, at the time when things need to be done. And that's just the way life has been for this year. So it's not it's not all perfect. No, and there are parts of this field and other fields we have. But the camera isn't looking at at the minute, and yes, there are some deep ones. <laughs> not too many. <laughs>